Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of It's All Relative. I do want to apologize firstly for not being able to upload as many episodes recently because there's actually a lot of stuff going on and I'll let you guys know more about it in the coming months. But for the time being, Cobalion right now is the new tier 5 boss and I actually haven't caught it yet. So unfortunately, I think a lot of you guys are not really interested into looking for Cobalion kind of videos and stuff. In the meantime, the main purpose of this video is basically the Team Go Rocket event. So basically, we have a special research from the uh, Team Rocket. So this is looming in the shadows. There's like six parts. And the first part I already did because I kind of was like driving around yesterday and I picked up, I think, seven Pokestop or something like that. So the third one is like defeat three Team Go Rocket grunts and catch one shadow Pokemon. So we can do that right now that we are right on top of a Pokestop. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know by now, right? There is some kind of like team leaders from the um, Team Rocket, right? So that's like Cl uh, Cliff, that is Arlo, and that is Sierra. Basically, you just gotta defeat six Grunt to collect six components, and then only you can fight the leader. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know that by now, so I don't really need to explain too much. There's like millions of videos going online right now. So we defeat our first one. Great. I still don't like that pose that I'm getting. Like that weird pose I got from the Reggie Gigason. Nah. Okay, here we go. First mysterious component. You guys saw that, right? Oh, I'm 98. Two more to go. Then we hit our silver. Hopefully my audio is fine because the last episode, you guys remember, I have to do like voiceovers and stuff. Yeah, that wasn't fun. Uh, I changed like the cable for my microphone, so I hope that's fine. If not, I kind of have to buy a new microphone, which I really don't want to. I don't want to waste extra money for this kind of stuff, you know. But <clears throat> the show must go on. If I really have to, I would for you guys. To be honest, right now, I'm kind of low on high potions and max potions, so... Yeah, I want to try to see if I can avoid, you know, basically killing myself with all these revives that I require for the leaders later because, yeah, that's not going to be fun. Okay, second mysterious component completed. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but there's a lot of spawns for Meowth, Coughing, and Ekans in support of this <clears throat> Team Rocket event, right? So, yeah, it's kind of cool. Uh, why is my Dialga dying so fast? Holy shit, I did not pick the right Pokemon for this battle. I'm gonna be using so much revive, it's not even funny. Holy shit, don't die, don't die Mewtwo, don't die, oh my. Uh, Meowth is not a very, very, you know, standout shiny Pokemon, but except you just pay attention to its feet. Its feet is pink or something. And then I want that shiny... Ooh, wait, what's this? I want that shiny... Um, I want that shiny... Am I using Focus Blast on a Gardevoir? I can't talk and play at the same time. I'm bad at this. I want that shiny coughing because I already have a shiny uh, Ekans. How are you guys dealing with the whole entire I need more revive and hyper potions and stuff? So five... Okay, Mysterious Component. Yay! 100, guys! We finally got our silver. Wait, it doesn't say silver. Ah, there it is. Well, it doesn't say silver. It's still like bronze kind of color. What? What's going on? Lapras! Wow. Imagine if this was a shiny. Given that I already have three right now. So let me speed up until I get my six because, you know, no one want to see this grunt battle part. It's not really that exciting. Unless something exciting happens, I will let you guys know. Alright, I totally forgot that I kind of have to continue my special research. Okay, here we go. First chapter done. Nice. Alright, what's the next chapter? Thank you for your continued support against those Team Rocket grunts. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you guys can read, right? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Spin a Pokestop five days in a row. No wonder people cannot really get to that uh, Shadow Legendary at the end when you fight Giovanni. Hero 515 Shadow Pokemon will do that. Uh, win five raids. Ooh. Oh hey, a brand new Shadow Pokemon. Oregon. Alright, here we go. Final Pokemon to catch before we get our sixth component. And hopefully this mud cave is not too stin uh, stubborn, you know. Whew. Okay, so currently we're in the, right in the middle of the park where it's actually surrounded by a lot of poker stuff. So I believe that after this we can uh, assemble our radar and then we can find out where the leaders are. Hopefully some of them are nearby or else I have to kind of drive around. Okay, so this mud cave is trash, so we're just gonna like ignore him. Hold on, let's take a look at this guy first. Nope. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Six one. Yeah. Okay, so now we can combine our component for the first time. Wow, I actually really like the an animation for this guy. What does it do? Ooh. Okay, so we can equip it. Oh, alright, so I assume we have to tap on it too, and ta-da, there it is. So, Professor Willow Research and the component you discover have come together to produce a rocket radar. Okay, we reverse engineered the technology and now we can receive the hideout signals, equip the radar and activate it. It's time to investigate and prepare for whatever comes our way. So, I guess from here, we should be able to find out where's the... Ah, okay. So, there's three around us. 
is there anywhere else? I was just hoping that it could be around this park area, but I guess it's on the other side of the park. I don't want to walk to the other side. It's a little bit far, but we, I guess we kind of have to, so we'll go to the nearest one right now. I guess we have our leaders. Okay, let's go find them. All right, here we go. We have encountered our first leader, which is Arlo. And to be honest, I really don't know what Pokemon he has, but I do know that from the comment section I've seen on like Twitter and everything, that people say they have the hardest time with Arlo, which kind of, you know, not my favorite thing to hear right now. But it's okay because we're going to check it out and see what he's able to, you know, offer. So uh, I think there's a place I can set up my camera around here because I kind of want to focus on this. So yeah, let me set up, set up my camera first and we will battle him. Oh, well, the one thing I really fully utilize around my neighborhood is the jungle gym of all the parks. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's go inside. Your arrogance will be your downfall. I shall be the one to set in, your, in motion. You can continue using the rocket radar until you win the battle. All right, that's fine. That means it's permanent. Um, I really don't know what to expect from him, but I do know that they will definitely use their shield. Okay, we're just gonna go Rayquaza and double <laughs> Tyranitar because I have no idea what's gonna happen. Here we go, Rayquaza against Scyther. Okay, so Arlo has a Scyther. Um, I believe we're gonna die really quickly. Yep, you see? Okay, yep, that is not good. My Rayquaza is almost dead already, but that's not very fun. Okay, so at least I can come out one Outrage, but they're gonna tr block it anyway, I believe. So, yep, that's the block. And there goes my Rayquaza because I'm not doing any damage. Okay, we're gonna quit, guys. Oh my god, this is terrible. Okay, so I actually did some small research because I realized I really have don't, I don't have that much Hyper Potion and Max Potion to play around. So I went to actually look up and people saying that when you fight Arlo, use Melmetal. So they say Melmetal since it resists like bug type and stuff and it has Stone Edge. Uh, sorry, not Stone Edge, I mean Rock Throw. Hold on, I believe I still have it at um, yeah, Thunderbolt. That's not what you want. So we're gonna change his charge move to from Thunderbolt to Rock Slide. No, not Rock Throw. <laughs> rock Slide. Okay, cool. So we're gonna use this guy. We're gonna use uh, Machamp and Tyranitar because I believe those two are usually the counter you want to use. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna wing it. Okay, we're just gonna wing it. Here we go. All right. Let's see. I also don't know what's his second Pokemon and his third Pokemon, so we kind of have to, you know, give it a try anyway. So here we go. Round two, guys. Malmetal versus uh, Scyther, and I believe this is good matchup for us at least, so that we can at least get him to uh, use up two of his, um, you know, charge moves, so that we can actually kill him afterwards. Uh, okay. So after this. The next rock slide should be able to take down this guy. All right, here we go. Rock slide. Okay, that was fast. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, we kind of need two rock slide then. I hope it's not too windy, guys. If it is, I do apologize. Crobat. Okay, this is. Uh, okay, rock slide can be effective against Crobat, so that's good. Uh, and it's very windy, guys. So I do apologize and. Okay, Crobat. Let's see what's good against Crobat. Uh, I think Tyranitar. I hope so. I hope it's super effective. Yeah, it's super effective. So we want to use Crunch against this guy. Come on, Tyranitar, don't die! Oh my god, that took too long. Pokemon we're dealing with. We still have a Machamp, so we should be fine. Scizor, okay. This is good, I think. No, that's not good, actually. I just realized Machamp is not very super effective against Iron-type. Oh god, this is not good. This is not good. We have no shield. We are kind of screwed. Okay, we are shield. We're screwed. We're screwed. They're going to do so much damage to us. Okay. Ah, wow, that hurts a lot. Okay, I don't know. Something tells me that we're not going to be able to kill this scissor. So he has a crowbat and a scissor. Okay. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on, take it down. No, it's so close. It's so close. Oh my god, GG, man. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the same line lineup as just now. And the last one we're going to use is Moltres because we need a fire type that can take down... Um, well, basically, we need to take down that Scizor, right? So hopefully, hopefully this is a good lineup. So. Okay, two shields down. Let's do this, okay? Rock slide, okay. And we should be able to take down this guy and the Crobat after this. Uh, hopefully, can take down the Crobat. I'm not too sure. No! 
Let's see, Tyranitar. Show me that crunch. Get some damage in, you know? Okay, maybe Tyranitar wasn't the best <laughs> decision, but... The, okay, okay, this is good, this is good, this is good. Alright, come on, last one, last one. We are dealing with Scizor here. Okay, we have our crunch out. Okay, it's not doing that much damage, but it's doing some damage at least. Moltres, let's do this, okay. Fire Spin is doing a lot of damage incoming. We have one more shield. And with that, I don't even have a fire charge move. I just realized that I have sky attack, which is still super effective, I, I think. But here we go, we defeated Arlo. I don't understand, I never lose. Well, you know, third time's a charm, guys. <laughs> All right, we have 1,000 Stardust. We have one max revive, are you kidding me? We killed, we died like so many Pokemons. Holy shit, guys. All right, so we defeated, we have six balls, and could we get a shiny? No. That was difficult, guys. No planning, you can never win this. Like, you have to plan this to the brim. Okay, we caught our Scyther, but I kinda like it. It makes the game a- wow, this is terrible IVs. It makes the game more exciting to actually play and stuff. Uh, okay, with that said, we can actually go and search for more six components and then we're gonna fight another leader. But in the meantime, I think for the rest of the episode, I wanna see if I can try to squeeze in a Cobalion because I don't have a Cobalion yet. Like seriously, I haven't played in the past few days, so that's kinda my fault. I've been very busy with a lot of stuff. I will let you guys know the updates in the coming months, but yeah. Whew, all right. Sorry, boys. There's nothing in here. Zero. Okay, guys. While I'm hunting for my sixth one, actually, I just got the sixth component to find another uh, gold, uh, Team Rocket leader. I'm sorry. I'm just very excited. There's a new shiny Pokemon. Shiny Coffin. <laughs> oh, yes. I mean, I mean, I've been talking about this shiny Coffin since it was released, and I really wanted it. Now I got it. Oh, my God. I'm so excited, I'm so lost for words, holy shit, man. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Shiny Coffin, guys! I, we did it! Oh my god! So we have Shiny Atkins, Shiny Coffin, and now we just need a Shiny Meowth. Put the fuck? Oh my god, this is so pretty! I literally just finished my sixth uh, component from the, uh, uh, the, the, the Team Rocket Grunt, and uh, you see, I just got the sixth one. Combining it right now, here we go, so that we can get our, you know, radar. Oh my god, that is so cool. This is right after I just got it, and then the shiny, wait, wait what's the rocket? Oh, it's over there. Huh, okay, I guess that's not much. Alright, so here we go, guys, we have Team Rocket Leader Cliff. Uh, it's different from Arlo, so that's good, right? So here we go, I'm not sure, I, if I remember correctly, Cliff uses Meowth. So we definitely want to put in as much of the whole entire fighting type Pokemon in. So here we go. Machamp, you are going up first. Kyogre, I don't know. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna wing it first, okay? First round is to wing it. I just need to know what's his second and third Pokemon. Okay, here we go, Cliff! Woo! Alright. Oh he just flink his Pokeball like that. <laughs> Alright, Meowth! This should be simple. Alright, okay, this is good, this is good. Meowth is going down really quick, okay. This is so much better than the Scyther, seriously. Like, seriously, seriously, so much better. Okay. Oh, against a Snorlax! Ooh, okay, that means I should have double my champ. Okay, but it doesn't matter, because if Snorlax have Zen Hitbutt, I'm so dead already. Yep! Zen Hitbutt. Zen Hitbutt is not what you want. Okay, alright. My Machem is actually not dead. I kind of have 1 HP on it. At least it took down both shield already. Okay, here we go. I think we should be able to take down the Snorlax with my Dragonite. Okay. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Okay, we have three Pokemon and he has one more left. Tyranitar. Okay, that means for this battle, it's safe to say that if we use all three, uh, if we if we use all Machamp, we should be able to win, no problem, no. But for this one, I think once I have my Hydro Pump ready, I am going to kick his ass. I think this is it. This is it, guys. We have one Cliff, just like that. Ha! <laughs> I didn't even need to try out, but I guess we were just lucky. We were just lucky. We have our Kyogre. Thank God for that. Whoo! Yeah, Cliff. Okay, time to see if we can get a Shadow Shiny Meowth. Or a Shiny Shadow Meowth, whatever you call it. Max Potion, seriously. Oh, 3 Hyper Potion. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. 
taken. But I'd rather have revive though. So. Alright, here we go, guys. We have seven ball for a shiny meow. No, it's not. Damn. Well, that was fun though. The only po uh, the only trainer we still haven't fought yet is Sierra. Alright, so though we're here for today's episode. I'm sorry for two things. I did not fight Sierra and I did not get a Cobalion, but then again, I think I'll get Cobalion on my own time when I actually see it. It's not really that exciting of a legendary Pokemon since it doesn't have a shiny form yet. So don't worry, I got you a shiny coughing, so be happy about that. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, guys. Alright, video's not over yet. <laughs> So uh, today is a brand new day, I'm kind of editing the video right now, uh, but here we go, we actually have the 7 day research progress and since I'm not actually filming today, I thought I might as well get this out of the way, right? So here we go guys, we have a quest that we are completing right now, not sure what we're going to get here, but it's a Cubone, Cubone is not shiny, that's fine, let's quit from this. Alright, here we go, we can get a potential shiny from any of the legendary birds, a Kyogre and a Groudon. Alright, let's do this. Oh, Sinnoh Stone. Okay, and I want a Unova Stone. Why did they give me a Sinnoh Stone? Come on, man. Ah! <sighs> okay, now the video's over. See you guys.